Mina, Konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Psalm 78. I'm going to start at verse 1 and just dive right in. Let's go. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, telling to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. For he established a testimony in Jacob, and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers, that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children, that they may set their hope in God, and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments, and may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not set its heart aright, and whose spirit was not faithful to God. One of the biggest deals, I guess you could say, with Christianity is leaving, I, I think the word would be footprint, I think it's the appropriate term, to leave a footprint where people can look back on and say, you know what? God was a part of that. God moved in that person's life. I've said in previous videos, I don't care too much about being remembered or having a personal legacy. Like instead of people remembering me for 2,000 years, just Give me 10 more years to my life that I can enjoy, that I can participate in, look at, and be a part of. However, with that being said, it is crucially important to me that I leave something behind that points to Jesus. No idea when my time in this world will be up, and no one here really does. Not a single person down here knows when their time is coming. It's just that's not something given to us humans. And so I don't really care about people remembering me. I most certainly want people to look at things, maybe just things that I've started, things that I did in this world. And I want them to be able to look at the message that I preached. I want people to be able to look and say, Jesus was a part of yeah, that YouTube channel, that person, whatever his name was, uh, that organization whoever the founder of that organization was, regardless of the names and the titles, and even regardless of the longevity, I want to make sure that I impart something to the next generation, to the people around me, particularly to those younger than me. Because remember, I'm in my 30s, so I'm old. I'm an old guy at this point, and I want something that will indicate to everyone around me, particularly the younger generation, that Jesus Christ is Lord. When you're really serving God, and you're ministering for him. That's kind of like the hallmark of success. Not are you remembered? Um, did you get you know some great deals in your life? What's really important is did people see Jesus? When people look at your life, regardless of whether they know your face or name, when they look at what you've left behind, when they look at your works, are they going to know Jesus was a part of that? And will it be something that will not just say that dude believed in Jesus, but you know what? Seeing that makes me want to believe in Jesus too. That's a good testimony. That's a good reminder of how great God is. That's pretty much the ultimate goal. That if anyone looks back on me, not that I'd be remembered, but that the things that I left behind would point to Jesus. That I might declare the sayings of old. Like every day, um, I come to y'all with a little bit of this. So that a little bit of that will be left behind and a little bit more of who Jesus is will be announced and proclaimed in this world. Most important thing in this world to me. I don't need a legacy. I don't need people remembering my name. I desperately want people to know and remember the name of Jesus. And if there's any hallmark of success, if there's any kind of benchmark that can be reached or attained, is people can look on this life and say, that guy, whoever he was, lived it for Jesus. His stuff reminds me of Jesus. If there's any kind of success in this life, I think, I think that's it right there. If there's any kind of legacy to be left behind, Jesus being that legacy, that's a successful legacy. That's a successful remembrance. Not my name, not my money, not my toys, not my inventions, not my organizations. Jesus. And so hopefully I am doing just that. Hopefully I am accomplishing that. Be, feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you think. Am I succeeding? Am I failing? 
Do you think I'm wrong? Did I state that incorrectly? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.